Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Invicta Specs with John the Phone Guy. So today we have the X-Wing Blue Label. Whole title is an Invicta Coalition Forces X-Wing in Blue Label. Model number 30121. This is a 46 millimeter watt. It is water resistant to 30 atmospheres or 300 meters, 990 feet. Uh, has a flame fusion crystal. The internals are a Ronda ExtraTech Z60, Z60. Uh, the battery is a 395 and the life is approximately four years battery life. Obviously the more you use the chronograph and this is true with any watch, the, the quicker the battery will go down. So let's kind of get going here with this thing. So we'll start at the back obviously. Uh, so this is a, a reserve in the collection, uh, scissors deployant uh, with the uh, diver class. Obviously you get the, uh, the logo and everything on here. The bracelet on this is uh, very smooth. Um, it's a very comfortable watch. Let me pop this open so we can get some better views here. So here we are. Coalition Forces, field tested blue label, and obviously all the all the other good stuff on there, reserve collection, model number, and all of that's in there, water resistant, chronograph, Swiss movement, so all of that. And the X-Wing design, just for anybody who's never seen one, uh, this comes from the Imperius line, which is owned by the Invicta Watch Group. Uh, which is uh, a dormant line. But if you look from here to here, you will see, and here to here, it looks like an X pattern going across. So that's where the, the name comes from. And you've got, so your you know case and lug system. Um, there is a little bit of give in this thing, so it does uh, fit really well. Uh, some of the styling details on this is this this bar system here, and then you've got your paddle style uh, function pushers, your screw down crown, and obviously you can see the uh, Invicta Reserve badging on here, the crystal and bezel. So this is a, a fixed bezel, and you can actually see the crystal through some of the openings in in this. Uh, in this bezel system with the screw downs and everything so flame fusion obviously which is as we've talked about flame fusion is synthetic uh, similar to sapphire uh, but also has properties of mineral crystal uh, so it has the scratch resistance of a sapphire and the impact resistance of mineral uh, together as one so the styling details of a blue label uh, there's quite a few different ones that it blue label actually moves from watch lines so you have your constant running seconds here at your three o'clock your 30 minute chronograph is down here and then your day of the week right here this is your chronograph second hand and we'll just kind of show you how that works so you're going to hit that and we're going to start the chronograph if I let it go all the way around, this counter down here would move to a one and, you know, start incrementing, obviously. So then we were going to stop and then we'll reset. So the Z60, uh, similar to others, uh, the way if this minute, well, what most people call the, so if this chronograph hand here is off, you pull this out to the second you push A and B together and it'll spin around and then what you would do I'm actually going to do this so you would start indexing this all the way around so I'm literally gonna I'm actually gonna screw it up and then we'll put it back and fix it so sometimes this happens so let's say it, it goes back to here and you push this all the way back in start the chronograph again and then we'll stop and then when it resets actually see it resets out of place 
So just like I did before, you're going to pull it out too. You're going to press these down. It's going to reset and then you would just take your A button up here until it's lined back up. Once it's lined back up, push this back in and then we're back to start and a stop and a reset and we're back to zero. So that's that's the reset function on uh, a Z60. So obviously pull it out one and you're going to start changing the date. Yeah, so on and so forth. Pull it out to the second position and you're going to change the time. If for some reason you need to change your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the only way I've gotten it to work is you literally keep spinning this thing around as it moves and changes the date. Then you get the day of the week correct. Then you set your time again and go from there. So it's not too bad. Um, obviously, and this is a screw down system as, as you see. So it is a dive rated instrument. Okay. And the accenting, uh, for a blue label is all blue ionized and then yellow accents. So all of your station markers, uh, arms, things like that, all is all in a, a yellow gold color. So that is the Coalition Forces X-Wing in blue label, model 30121. So now we'll go through our normal. Do a little measuring here. And I believe it's technically right there. So yeah, so there's 46. So right here, as you see this, the, this gap. So this is not part of the case, so it's not part of the measurement. So I measured from in here to just right there. But if you want to get kind of a lug to lug number, you know, from here, you're looking at about 59. Uh, if you go paddle to outside edge, it's 54. So in many ways, this watch wears bigger than the, the 46 indicates because you've got extra pieces uh, that aren't typically considered part of the standard measure. So just kind of keep that in mind. The height on this, it's not too bad. It's like 16, so almost 17. So that's, uh, you know, that's well within, well, let's see. Right there is an inch, so we're at 0.6 of an inch, so for size perspective. And of course, throw it on the handy dandy scale here, and we are in at 10 ounces. So about it weighs out about the same as like a 50 millimeter uh, bracelet size. So it's got you know good heft to it, but it's not so heavy that it's just unwieldy. And then of course, I have a seven inch wrist, so I will put this on. So, you know, it wears, like I say, it wears a lot bigger, um, but it does have a good curvature to it. So it, it will fit, you know, other size wrists, you know, move it up and down. You can see how the lug system kind of curves around to, uh, to help balance it out. So there you have it. And here we go. We'll set that guy right there. So that pretty much covers everything. Um, want to uh, mention uh, I have other spec videos. If you're interested, I'll uh, post a link and uh, you can check those out. I also have some sizing videos if, uh, if you're interested in, in looking into that. So... Other than that, uh, I want to mention uh, Trap Vision 3D, uh, Invicta Lifestyles on YouTube. Also, Tommy Big Time does a lot of uh, sizing, batteries, and other features. Uh, Evine, uh, soon to be Shop HQ, is where I get most of my watches. They have a really good selection, some really good prices. Also, InvictaStores.com, their yellow tag sales. Uh, can be impressive uh, when uh, if you can find a deal on on what you want, and then obviously 
uh, need to mention Facebook pages, Invicta Holics, Invicta Cruisers, Invicta Vets. Uh, some really great uh, resources for just uh, information in general, camaraderie, uh, you know, seeing what other, what other collectors have. And as always, if, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I would uh, really like a subscribe if possible. And we'll just say enjoy your watches, and I hope to see you next time on Invicta Specs. Take care.